There are two that, that really sort of knock, knock the wind out of me. One is when I think about ocean acidification. The ocean has absorbed about a third of the, the carbon dioxide that we've emitted by burning fossil fuels. And that has changed the chemistry of the entire ocean. By absorbing all that CO2, which breaks down into carbonic acid and hydrogen ions, we've actually changed the pH of the entire ocean with effects that we're only beginning to under understand. Um, not only does it make it harder for um, corals and shellfish to make their shells because the ocean is becoming more acidic, but it does weird things because fish, for example, smell through seawater. Mm. So they don't smell predators in the same way and they don't run away and it's just changing predator-prey dynamics in the ocean. So that one really blows my mind because the ocean is over 70% of the planet and the fact that we've changed the pH, the chemistry of the entire thing it's pretty bananas. But the second, the second one is sea level rise. I think um, in the Northeast, we're looking at you know, several feet, depending on what happens at the poles. New York could experience a meter or more of sea level rise um, in, the in the next few decades. And we're just not prepared. And so it's one of the things that I think about every day is like, how do we come to grips with the fact that the most optimistic projections about temperature and sea level rise, we, we may well be, um, you know, we are on the path to surpass the rosy projections, which are already pretty bad. So it's time to start thinking about like, okay, w w how do we prepare for a more dramatically different future? Those, those two, two pieces are so interesting because on the one hand, people viscerally understand sea level rise in that if you see a map, you see the waters coming up above where some people live. Yeah. Ocean acidification though is different as you explain it. The, the idea that the, the chemistry of the ocean is changing is so remarkable. And is that something that is reversible? Is that something that we can change in some way? I mean, not in my lifetime, right? I mean, a lot of these things that we're setting in motion are things that happen over multiple millennia um, that we've just sort of locked in a certain amount of change. So when I think about the future of our climate, I, th I think about the spectrum of possible futures that we have, and it's up to us to like fight for the best possible future, but it's still gonna look quite different from the way things look now. Mm.